Today's episode is about ULN 2003A which is most commonly used in electronic circuits. One of its most common uses is that ULN 2003 is used as a relay driver. At the same time you can control 7 relays. So far I have been using 2 and 2 to 2 to 2 NPN transistors, 10k resistors and diodes for controlling the relays. If you look at this circuit, this circuit consists of 7 relays, 7 transistors, 7 diodes, 7 resistors. A lot of soldering needs more space, difficult to troubleshooting, which results in an increased price. But what if ULN 2003 was used in this circuit? So we can reduce the PCB size, we can reduce its making time, we can reduce its price. So in today's episode you will learn how to use ULN 2003 to control a relay and an LED light emitting diode, a solenoid valve etc. For the best understanding, we will be studying the datasheet of ULN 2003. Then we will make a simulation in Proteus and write an Arduino program to control ULN 2003 automatically. And then we will practically test the design on a breadboard. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the ULN 2003 datasheet. Let's start with the features. 500 milliamps rated collector current single output. High voltage outputs 50 volts. Inputs compatible with various types of logic. Relay driver applications. Its most common applications are ULN 2003 is actually famous as a relay drivers but also used for controlling steppers and DC brushed motors, lamps, LED displays, line drivers and logic buffers. Pin configuration and functions ULN 2003 has total of 16 pins. Pin number 8 which is labeled as E is connected with the ground and pin number 9 which is labeled as COM is connected with the supply voltage. If you are controlling 12 volt relays then connect 12 volt with this pin. The pins labeled as 1B, 2B up to 7B are the input pins and will be connected with the Arduino Uno Omega digital pins while the pins labeled as 1C. 2C up to 7C are the output pins and will be connected with relays, LEDs, solenoid valves, etc. as per the needs. Specifications VCC collector emitter voltage maximum 50 volts and peak collector current is 500 milliamps. So this is the ULN 2003 IC which we will be using today for controlling an LED relay and a solenoid valve. ULN 2003 is a 7 channel Darlington array used interface microcontrollers to high voltage, high current devices such as solenoids, lamps, relays, etc. It has the capacity to drive 500 milliamps into a single channel. But wait, it doesn't mean you can get 500 milliamps on all the 7 channels when all the 7 channels are active. Well, you can get up to 250 milliamps per channel if four of the seven channels are active and you can get 125 milliamps per channel if all the seven channels are active. Now let's make a simulation in Proteus. While the Proteus is open click on the pick from libraries button and search for the Arduino you know. Double click to add it to the list. Now search for the ULN 2003 and double click to aid. Now search for the relay and click OK. Now select Arduino Uno. Right click and rotate clockwise. Now select ULN. Now connect pin number 13 with 1B, pin number 12 with 2B, pin number 11 with 3B, pin number 10 with 4B, pin number 9 with 5, pin number 6 with 6B, and pin number 5 with 7B. Later I will use pin number 7 and 8 for interfacing GSM module. Now click on the terminals. And select power and write plus 12 volt plus 12 volts 
and connect this wire. Now click on the component mode and select a relay. Now again click on the terminals mode, select power and select 12 volt and click OK and now connect 1C with this one. So now our circuit diagram is completed now we write the program. This is the program written for controlling UAN 2003. The same program will be used for controlling an LED 12 volt SPDT type relay and a 12 volt solenoid valve. So first of all we start by defining some pins. Integer ULN underscore 1B is equal to 13. This instruction means that the ULN 2003 pin number 1 which is 1B is connected with Arduino Uno Omega pin number 13. Is no spaces are allowed in the variable names so that's why I used an underscore sign. And one more thing. Never use numbers in the beginning of the variable names as it will generate an error. So you have to follow some rules like no spaces are allowed, no numbers in the beginning and never use same variable names for different pins. A variable name should be unique in simple words. Is your name is unique among your brothers and sisters. And then integer ULN underscore 2B is equal to 12. Integer ULN underscore 3B is equal to 11. 4B is connected with pin 10. 5B is equal to 9, 6B is equal to 6, and 7B is connected with 5 number pin of the Arduino Uno or Mega. Every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup function and white loop function. In the white setup function, white means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Pin mode uln underscore 1b output. Pin mode is a function which is taking two arguments as the inputs, the pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output as we are using uln 2003 for controlling an LED or relay and a solenoid valve so that's why it is set to output. Right now I'm using only one channel of the ULN 2003. The reason for using one channel is that I want to show you guys how you can use the same channel to control different loads. Then start a wide loop function. Digital write ULN underscore 1B high to turn on the load connected. Load may be LED, relay, a solenoid valve, etc. Or it can be a motor then there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second digital write ULN underscore 1B low to turn off the load connected delay 3000 milliseconds which is equal to three seconds we are done with the programming now let's generate the hex file needed for the simulation for this first of all click on the file menu then select the preferences and check both the compilation and upload boxes and click OK. Now click on the compile button and wait for a while. Now select the hex file link and press Ctrl C on the keyboard to copy. Now double click on the Arduino board. and paste the link in the program file text box and then click OK. Now run the simulation by clicking on the play button. As you can see the relay turns on for 1 second and then turns off for 3 seconds. Now let's practically check this on a breadboard. So first of all connect to Arduino Uno with a laptop or computer and make sure that the right board is selected and a right comp board is selected then click on the upload button and wait for a while
The components that we will be needing for this project are number one ULN 2003A, number two DC female socket I solder to jumper wires for the easy interfacing, brown wire is the 12 volt and black wire is the ground. Number 3 12 volt SPDD single pole double throw relay I solder two jumper wires for the easy interfacing. Number 4 and LED the longer leg is the anode and the shorter leg is the cathode. Number 5 a 1k resistor which will be used with the LED in series to limit the current. Watch my tutorial on LED and how to calculate the current limiting resistor value. Number 6 breadboard. Number 7 Arduino Uno Omega 12 volt adopters and some jumper wires. Start by inserting the legs of ULN 2003A into the breadboard. Now connect female DC socket. Insert the brown wire in the topmost row and insert the ground wire in the row below. Now insert 1K resistor into the breadboard which will be connected in series with the LED. Now connect the cathode side of the LED with the resistor. Now connect 12 volt with the anode side of the LED. Now take another jumper wire and connect it with the first output which is 1C. And connects it another end with the resistor. Now take another jumper wire and connect it with the supply ground and connects its another end with pin number 8 of the ULN 2003A. Now take another jumper wire, connect its one end with pin number 8 of the IC and connect its another end with the Arduino ground. Now finally take another jumper wire, connect its one end with pin number 13 of the Arduino and connect its another end with the pin number 1 of the IC which is 1B. Now the connections are completed and let's connect power supplies. First of all connect 12 volts with Arduino Uno Omega and then connect another 12 volts with the female DC socket. Now as you can see the LED is blinking. It turns on for 1 second and then turns off for 3 seconds. Now let's connect a relay. Simply remove the resistor and LED. Connect the relay wires. As you can hear the tick sound which means that the relay can turn on and turn off. In the same way you can also connect a solenoid valve. Simply remove the relay and connect the two wires of the solenoid valve but make sure the solenoid valve energizing current should be below 500 milliamps, otherwise the solenoid valve won't turn on. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends, see you in next episode and thanks for watching.